Hey everybody, welcome back to Ica Claw. So we got probably some pretty fun things coming up in this episode. Um, I wanted to come check out at Magrito because we got some money. We could upgrade some buildings. So this third one would unlock. I think they uh, require um, other things though, so that wouldn't even be that useful. One thing I want to build is um, I was pretty dang torn between these two because like getting plague monks definitely would be pretty cool at the same time though getting these uh plague claw catapults i think that's honestly more important actually so i was pretty torn between those two you know like we could always still end up getting that one anyway so it's not really like a big concern now we also want to be careful we want these people to um be able to replenish a little bit faster they're gonna need 25 percent so if they're coming in this way they'll be coming in like that so they'll have 27 percent and they can do that thankfully they can recruit too we just don't have like the best choices still which is unfortunate you know we're, we're two behind on this one which will give us only the rat ogres this one's three behind but we do have um, the boy knife right here I don't want him to actually go do that unless we decide next turn so we can pick a couple of these things we could uh, upgrade some of ooh death frenzy is definitely a good one and um, this is Ikit Claw that we're looking at okay so with Ikit we're gonna do Rao Marcher as well. Who else needs it? Blight, the, many, many okay, words. this is the engineer. Ooh, I like that one. That would be accuracy and reload skill, so that's pretty dang good. Let's give him um we've been upgrading this guy's fighting ability a lot, so. Oh, this would that would give him the Doom Rocket ability well. Wow. Oof. Dang, so he's has some pretty good um these are some pretty good ones. These uh the Doom Rocket, Ballistics Instructor, Extra Powder, wow, okay. Now dang, looks like we need a third one. This is the uh Grace here, okay. So we'll give him he's the other other lord, so we'll give him that. And um let's give him So we could give him the death frenzy, but he doesn't have scorch yet, so. Dang, that was a lot of turns to get by. That was crazy. I'm wondering what this uh, Leonardo Catraza. And uh, there we go. Worry no longer. Let's, uh, should we back out, I wonder? Miscalculated. Let's see. Yeah, that that was the best choice. Because now he's going to be caught up in that swamp. And he's going to be on, uh... Oh, what a dummy. He's going to be caught up on Force March. And on top of that, we got replenished. So that dude made a bunch of dumb mistakes right there. This is going to be a perfect battle. So he's going to have to come in close. What's the fastest way like that? So we'll have him stay like on the river like that. Oh wait, and we need our boy knife. Oh, that was the wrong thing to do. Whoops. Okay, now we bring our boy in. Don't run away from us. Yes. Oh, we ambushed them. Oh, they are screwed. They're screwed in the pooch. Yep, they're gonna be in some big time trouble, it looks like. Warp stun, doom rocket. Wow, they're definitely gonna be in some trouble. That was definitely the best choice to not take that fight and to run away because they ended up making big mistakes on their own. So let's get into this and uh, I'll see you guys when it loads in. So I uh, started the battle 
and uh, paused, set up all the deployments. So basically now the next step is going to be unpausing. I just want to quickly explain it. Um, we are hella overloading this northern side because on the northern side, uh, their leader is right here. And this guy might actually be the, um, he might be the lord of the entire uh, faction. I'm not sure, but he, I think he is. But definitely by the way this man looks. But they're pikemen right here. These guys are a problem. So we are we are making sure that we are hitting them hard on both sides. Then, just for some of these uh, other stronger units uh, behind them, we have a couple more like multiple units kind of piled up right here. This side, so basically these couple units are going to be getting hit pretty hard. Then, as you can see, because there's kind of an opening right here, that's where we have our gunners. I didn't. I decided I wanted just because of how ambushes went in the last game. I decided that I wanted to put these guys in the open, have no trees in the way, have no soldiers in the way. So these guys are just gonna be straight. This is gonna be like this is gonna be crazy. This is like literally like right up in their face, Gatlin gun power. So that's gonna be crazy. On this side, we got the um, we got the wolf rats. I don't know what we're gonna do about these outriders. We're not gonna be able to catch them all. I have one wolf rider going for one uh, pistolier, but the rest of them we're gonna have to probably rely on like our snipers or something. I don't even know. These uh, doom players are going in on the archers, and then yeah, it looks like everything else is set up and ready. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over to the Gatling guns. And uh, we'll watch from up here. This is going to be insane. Come on, guys. Oh, no. Mistakes have been made. This is bad because they're uh, coming for us. These guys are going to have to turn and go right for them now. Okay. Come on, guys. They need to just try to shoot. Here we go. Just shoot. Come on, guys. Shoot. There we go. Come on, guys. There we go. Oh, man. That's deadly. Let's check out Ikit Claw over here. Oh wait, we got our uh, reinforcements now. So these guys, we're just gonna tell them to freaking get their asses over here. All right, so this line right here looks like we got one. We got a couple Skaven slaves, but this is okay, perfect, because this is what's getting hit insanely hard right now. Then we got these guys. So then we got all of our. Uh, Okay, good, perfect. So this is basically what we were talking about. So we got these guys pretty much open to the fire, and they're uh, just engaged enough. Then we got a bunch of amounts of rats just completely surrounding these guys right here. I would, I really want to unpause just to watch this, but then so much is going to happen over there. And I also need to come over here and call down some uh, spells. So from the looks of this, here we go. Yeah, so from the looks of it, most of these guys decided to push out of the lake. And they tried to push us uphill. Which, I don't know if that was the best idea or not. Because it was relatively flat down here. But as we can see, these guys have pushed pretty far up in the north. Let's have all of them fighting like that. So, um... Uh-oh, no! No! I did not know if you clicked that, it would unpause. So this man affects allies in range, okay. So he's gonna call down a warp lightning. And let's just see where we can get a heavy amount of troops. So there's gonna be decent amount right here. And then we got a couple fat, well I'm gonna have Ikit go for that one cause he's right here. 
So we'll have him go and get the uh, halberdiers right here. This is going to be a good one. Because we got two halberdiers. We'll drop that one in right there. Ikit Claw is going to have a brass orb to use first. Oh, he's like shooting from back there, I guess. Okay, so the brass orb, we're going to put kind of near the middle to suck people in. But I also want to make sure we're take we're getting good damage, so... Yeah, let's, let's put it kind of in the middle of all these guys like that. Alright, let's check out what happens with this. Good, good, guys. We can call that one more over here. And let's give them that. Good, good. Okay, good. Oh wait, they need to keep shooting right here. As long as we draw breath, they will die. Oh crap. See, here's what some of the problems are. Is these guys? Do we have uh, slingers? Here we go. The slingers we need over here now. Oh, we caught them right here actually, which is good. Okay, so these guys are just going to get really irritating if we're not paying attention to that. That's just the main problem with that. Thankfully, we've routed most of these guys. So because we routed them, I want to move these guys over here. The snipers... They need to start taking... Oh, and the... Yeah, and these guys for sure. Nah, these guys... The Doom players are going to go after them. So, this is where we have very high concentration left. So, what we're going to do is get... Um, yeah, we'll tell him to come down here and fight for sure. And then we'll have him drop the... Warp lightning again. Oh yeah, because it gets heavy, heavy right here. Yeah, we have like three right here that we need to drop into. I'm wondering if Ikit should... Oh, he can't call that one down yet. Well, I guess because he can't call that one down yet, we'll just put this one over... Nah, we'll just hit this one extremely hard with a double warp lightning. Goodbye. Okay, good. Burn them. Never mind, they need to run away from the routers. Clan Chicken. So where are all these? Oh, here we go. Crap, so we can't even catch those guys. So the snipers are going to have to go get them. Where are our dang scaven sleeves? Here we go. Yeah, you guys just don't even worry about that. Seriously. Oh. <laughs> Oh, you, you guys hear what that dude just said? This 
Let's get that right in their lanes. Okay, that's good. Who's the last to fall? These guys. They're running away now. Oh, they're getting sniped. Wow, they were getting pretty dang sniped. Here we go. See, that is so annoying how it doesn't like... I don't know, you just gotta really pay attention to these annoying parts. Just run away, guys, for y'all keep dying. Oh, wow, the snipers are already reaching them. That's not good for them. Let's get all of our... Uh... Oh, they're going to retreat already. Hell yeah. Let's check these stats out. Oh my gosh. The three. <laughs> I, I honestly thought a lot more of those guys died because I wasn't paying attention to that. All right, y'all, welcome back. I just uh, got past this. We managed to hit rank seven. It says rank six still, but I think that's pretty good. So we're just gonna eat the captives. Oh, I didn't think that they were gonna actually get fully destroyed, but. Oh, it looks like we got a right. So let's check this out. So we actually can perform two different ones. It, so this would grant, grant one food per turn. We're getting 14 though, right now. Well, I don't mean like these this one as much. So this one will cost third uh, three thousand. Jeez. No devastation like Ikit's devastation. Yes, yes. All hail Hornet Rat. All right. So what we're gonna do is Chief these guys. They're gonna get the uh, merge. Okay. So that puts them down to only nineteen. Wow. So let's see what can we recruit this turn. Still nothing else different. Let's just go for another. Because um, I mean they are still a hell of a lot. If you look at the stat difference, clan rats with shields are a lot better than Skaven slaves. So we're getting one on there, and then we're getting. I'll just get two right there. Oh, we could have built that because it's at. Oh, wait, no, we couldn't have. Where are my schematics? And we can also. Ooh, Doom Flare. Oh, the mount would be a Doom Flare. I like that. But it changes a lot of his stats. I've never liked that part. So ammunition could be good, Scholar of the Arts could be good, Battle Salvager would be very good. Ooh, I like Jetpack, that gives us some speed. And then we'll go for the uh, some of these leadership ones as well. We don't have any leadership ones, well. Skaven Blight, seen many, many worse. Oh yeah, see we can get Doom Rocket now. I love that one. And then we're gonna get the uh, range. Okay. Oh, looks no, like everyone bosses. leveled up. Oh yeah, this is gonna be our little chieftain fighter, guys. So we want him to become a good, good strong fighter. All right, so that's just gonna be what it is for him. So let's uh, let's see what happens at the end of his next turn. I'm not sure what other kind of armies these guys are even gonna have. Yeah, it looks like they're trying to re-recruit right now. 
Oh yeah. So it looks like uh, chaos is stirring in the north. And it would also look... So, okay, second turn we'll be able to go there. What I think I might end up just doing is underway. How far would that take me? So that's where the dwarves are, is down there, and then... Oh, it looks like they're getting sieged up by uh, uh, the Sartosa pirates. Alright then, well I guess I might just have to walk. The sack value here is 7,000. Jeez, that's nuts. And we can upgrade this one, so let's upgrade that. I cannot believe that that is 7,000 value. That's crazy. What's their uh, garrison going to be like? Oh, wow. They got... These guys are strong. Nothing that these guys shouldn't be able to handle, though. Let's see if he can get away with the wound. Oh, he did it. Let's go. Good job, knife. Alright, we'll give him some upgrades. Because he is a uh, very good boy. Hell yeah. Well, let's have that do it. I hope you guys enjoyed that battle for part 4. If you guys enjoyed, make sure y'all leave a uh, like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.